Greetings and salutations you guys, Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because they're all doing fantastic. I'm here today in the city of Brea at their Goodwill. This is the only one here, so if you guys want to come check it out, just type in Brea and Goodwill and it should come up. But Brea, California. But we are here today to go see what we can find at the thrift. And if you love these sorts of videos, do not forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop at Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from with Thrifting Adventures and the live sales every Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific time. So come check it out. Uh, but without further ado, let's head inside. Someone's parking next to me, so. Mm. All right. Let's look at the handbags first. We've got some kind of coal right there. Ooh, looks a little furry bag. It's so soft. It's a Target one. Oh my gosh, it's a Kipling. This one is so cute. I love the little monkey. You know, the little, uh, the little monkeys always have little tags with their names on it. This one's name is Alyssa. Oh, this is actually really cute. Should I get this one? It's 12 dollars though. I might. I'm going to hold on to it because... You never know, someone else might grab it if you don't get it. There's this Emma Fox bag. Do you guys like Emma Fox? Let me know if you guys do and I'll start picking up her stuff. I used to pick it up before in the past, but I feel like no one ever really liked her bags too much. So I kind of stopped, but I mean, fashion is, you know, cyclical. Things get popular, things lose popularity and all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys think. There's another side to the handbags I didn't get to go to because there was a bunch of people over there, so we will check it out later. What is that? That is like frosting. Um, I used to have these pillows. These are like outdoor pillows. That one's kind of dirty, but I used to have them and then I redonated them. Um, food container, prep boxes, Opal House. <gasps> I wish there were more of these. I want these for the boys table. I almost bought something similar earlier, but they were like rectangular and the kids table is round. And I feel like they need like a round thing. I don't know, I'm gonna keep looking though. Maybe there are some more somewhere else. I'll uh, see like, look at this rectangular, like not rectangular, but oh, this is art. This is cute actually. Is this a carpet? Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look, little mats. Be right back at Target. I need one that says be right back at the thrift. But also Target because I like to go there too. Alright, let's look at the backpacks just really quickly. I wish this was a Bayo Bayo, but it's not. Bummer. We love Bayo Bayo bags. Can I get it for a giveaway though? It's only $2.99. Also, there is a Star Wars lunch pail. Oh, it has someone's name on it, Cooper. This is a Pottery Barn Kids lunch pail. These are pretty expensive. I actually got a cart because I was looking over at those clothes and I found some stuff. So I found this Alexander Wang dress. It's pretty. It's a size extra small. $11.99, so I think I might get that. Then I found these APC jeans. I don't know if I'm going to get them. They're a size 36, but I don't know they look kind of large I don't know if that's like the style but so I got that okay then this coach bag is only $12.99 that's cute right so I got that's denim and then suede and leather then this one I'm really excited about so this is a Claire Vivier clutch one size is feminine other oh, is masculine we love us uh, some Claire V. This is only 10 bucks, so I'm very excited. I love Claire V. I actually think I might keep this for myself. I really like this little pouch. It's super cute. Why are these little gnomes so cute? I think that one lights up. There's also this cool, like, I think this is like an abstract polar bear. Wow, look at these lamps. They have sea glass inside. That's kind of cool. Very like Pottery Barn-esque, actually. I remember at Pottery Barn, that sea glass was so expensive. Like a bag of sea glass was like pretty pricey. Let's see if there's any cool, oh, I already see something. Do you see that geometric one back there? That is a Tory Birch 
pretty sure. Yep. Um, it's kind of banged up though, $4.99, so I'm probably not going to get it. I've gotten these in the past though, but I've been like in really good condition. Put that. I like the print, but it's pretty damaged, so we're going to leave that one. Mana. Lots of Contigo Thermo Flasks. Well, this is a really cool print. Alright. Oh, look at this little lemon thing. I do love a little lemon thing. That's 99 cents. Oh, there's actually two of them. Ooh, these are actually kind of fun. These are good for like sauce dipping and stuff, but do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. <laughs> They're cute though. What are you thinking about it? Are they in good shape? They don't have like have any cracks or anything, do they? Oh, uh, I don't know. See, I don't know what this is about. Are they supposed to be like that? I don't think so. Okay, so one of them is like kind of damaged, so. Alright, we're not gonna get it. Thank goodness. Now I don't have to think about it. It's all good. Oh, look at this. I want. I, I hope it's like an Emil Henry or something. Oh, it is! It's $10, but this is beautiful. Emil Henry stuff is so expensive. Made in France. This is like, uh, this bakeware is like really good. And it's like Pampered Chef or Le Creuset. These are sold at Williams Sonoma. And, um, where else? At Sirletob. So, I'm really excited. That was a cute, cute piece. And it's yellow, my favorite color. So, like, Naturally, I am very excited. I actually have another yellow piece too from them, so they're gonna go really well with each other. 10 Strawberry Street. Not me just like looking at everything over here, going crazy for the plates as per usual. I haven't even hit the mug section yet. But there was a bunch of people, so it was the utensil thing is kind of cool. That's a Target one. Ooh, you guys, these are really nice. Aquash? But they're like the double um, glass mugs. There's two of them, I think. I'm looking through the luggage section right here. There's so many bags. All right, check it out. I did find this was like all the way hidden underneath a bunch of stuff. But this aloe tote, this is the second, this is the second or third one that I found from this store. It's only $2.99, so definitely gonna get that. I always get these aloe totes whenever I see them. They're always such great bags, so like, why not? Check out like this cool airplane. Um, I don't know if I had like a stand or something, but this is sterling. It says it's sterling silver, and it has the initials HDP on it. I'm gonna look this up. This is kind of cool, right? Four ninety nine. I found it. It had like this stand. So this one is on first dibs. I wonder if it'll show how much it was or if it's still available. Or any info about it. Are you serious? 25,000. That can't be right. From London? That's it. Okay, you know I couldn't resist looking through the crystal and stuff. Oh, this is Shannon Crystal. It's a nice little footed bowl. Some tall glasses. This egg. This is Bohemian crystal. Oh, this is some princess house right here. Got some princess house. I don't know. Is that like for some sort of snack? I have no clue. This is cool. Is this a glass shell? Hold on. This is fun. This is $2.99. Isn't this cool? Should I get this? Would it be so extra to get this? 
or no? Because it even has a background. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to show you guys what we ended up getting today from the good, or yeah, from the Goodwill. So this one, we went to the Goodwill over in Brea. I found some really great stuff to share with you guys. So let's jump into it. All right, let's start off first with this. Okay, I found this beautiful glass seashell. It is so pretty. Is it glass or crystal? No, this is definitely glass. And this one was $2.99, but it's really pretty. I got this for mom so she can, um, she likes to plant like her succulents and stuff in things in like little vessels like this. And I think this would be gorgeous with some beautiful succulents and it's just really fun. So got this for mom. I know she's gonna be excited. This was $2.99. And up next is actually another thing for mom too. So this is a pie dish and this is by Emil Henry this was $9.99 but Emil Henry stuff is so fantastic it's sold in Williams Sonoma um, Sur La Taube, and places like that where they specialize in home in, in like kitchen equipment and stuff like that and I know this stuff is really expensive these are made in France and I love the color of this I actually have another yellow piece as well so this is gonna be like a, be a great accompaniment to the collection so I got that then let's actually jump into um, some of the bags that I got so I found another one of these aloe totes at that store and I think this might be the third aloe tote in a row I think that I have found at that store uh, like I think I've been going to that store every day for the past, like not every day, every week for the past like three weeks. And I think every week I've gone there, I have gotten one of these tote bags. So it's pretty crazy, but I mean, three times. <laughs> it's awesome. And I think this is actually like the fifth Aloto I found in the past month because I have just been finding them everywhere. But these bags are fantastic. I use them for when I go thrifting. Sometimes I'll put them up in the live sales. Um, but yeah, they're just really great. Super easy to like carry around stuff. And they're nice um, and lightweight. Easy to throw into the washing machine if they get dirty. So these are just fantastic to have around. You never know what you're gonna need them for. Then up next, I have this little coach bag. It's adorable. It is in denim and then it has uh, these suede leather stripes on them and then brown smooth leather trim. It still has a little charm on there. On the back there's a little pocket and then the interior lining has this red coach monogram and then there's just one interior pocket and this was $12.99. I actually want to take this sticker off the leather already. Hold on. I don't want anything to happen. See, like, look at that. Like, some of the kind of, like, color or whatever came off from it. But fortunately, it didn't, like, affect the actual leather at all. So, whew. But you'd never want the stickers to sit on the leather. Stuff like that could happen, and you don't want that to happen. So, I always just take it off as soon as I get it home. So, I got this guy. It's, the bag is in actually pretty great shape, and it's cute. The style and size is very in right now. This is definitely from the 90s, I think. And it sits actually really nicely on your shoulder. It's tiny and fantastic. It's actually a good size too. And since it's so malleable, it can actually hold a ton of stuff. So, fantastic. Then up next, oh, this one was a good find. This is actually, I think, um, from a newer part of the collection. But this is a Claire Vivier, just like leather clutch pouch. And this is a collection that she's done that she did with um, like her bags and pouches and stuff. Say feminine on one side and masculine on the other. I believe this is in French, um, but it's just black leather, then white writing, gold hardware, and then the inside is in her signature chambray lining. There's a Claire V Los Angeles. This was ten dollars. I love Claire V stuff though because it's made in Los Angeles, like all of her leather goods are made locally here in LA, which I think is fantastic. I don't really know a lot of 
brands like this that actually make their stuff in LA still, but I believe all her handbags are made in Los Angeles, so I think that's really cool. She also does have uh, various collections with anthropology as well, from everything from like clothing pieces to home goods and uh, kitchenware, diningware, um, like phone accessories, home accessories, and all that good stuff. So I love finding her stuff. She is one of my favorite designers. I have a bunch of her stuff. So this is really exciting to add to the collection. Okay, and then last but not least, um, this was kind of crazy. And I still have to do more research on it, but I showed you guys in the store um, what I found out about this guy. And this is a sterling silver airplane. And it's supposed to like be connected to like a little stand, but unfortunately the stand is no longer with it. But I actually wanted to take off the sticker because I wanted to see exactly what it looks like underneath. And I am going to polish this. And I might actually polish it right now and then show you guys how it looks after I do it. But I really wanted to see what was underneath here. And I wanted to remove this sticker because the sticker could be ruining the Um, finish okay so this I don't think this is it okay so it looks very similar to the one that I found but underneath it was supposed to say like something about like Dubai Airlines or something like that so now I'm gonna do a little bit more research as well and see if I could find out more about this particular piece that doesn't have the writing on it but I'm going to actually clean it up first and then I'll see I'm gonna use an app called Google um, Image. Um, I've, I've talked about it before, I always talk about it whenever I'm at the store trying to like look up specific things. And it doesn't work for everything, but sometimes it gives you like a good like recommendation. But essentially you can take a picture of the item and then you put it into Google Image and then it'll search the web for similar items. And yeah, so. There's that, but I will be right back. Okay, so I thought first that it was this, like a scale, it was a, I thought it was a scale model of a Boeing 757 by Gerard & Co. Um, I, th I actually still think that it's a 757 because it looks pretty much exactly the same, but it doesn't say like Air Europe and stuff on it. So let me see if I can find anything else that looks similar to this. Um, or is it, but I will be right back. I'm going to see also if I can go ahead and polish it. Oh gosh, you guys, I found it. So it's not super fancy expensive one that I initially thought it was, but it's still a pretty good find. Um, this is actually a scale model of an airplane mounted on a wooden, a wooden base, but the wooden base is missing. It's an Airbus A318, and I think it was from 2002. Um, so here it is right there. Someone has it on Etsy. It's like literally the only one that I could find and it is silver plated and I, I like looked at it. It's like exactly the same. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I love it. I feel like this is like such like just a cool decorative piece. But now I'm really excited to see how clean I can get it. So uh, let me see how clean I can get it. Um, I don't know if I'll show you guys right now because I think I have to like wash it and all this stuff So it might be kind of like a mission, but um, I'm gonna end the video here So um, tune in for like a later vlog or something when I can show you guys how it looks <laughs> but um, Don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button to notify when new videos do go up The new ones up tomorrow at 7 a.m. I do post videos every single day live sales Friday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time and I'll see you guys all in the next video, right? Bye guys!